Hey guys, so I wasn't able to do a complete patch 6.3 update until just now where I was missing one Pokemon that we have finally found out in the wild. And so while I did fail to catch it, but now I do know where it's from and so I'm going to report it here. The Morbol, the Big Stinky. And now I've got it. I'm going to do the full patch 6.3 update that is going to include all of the rare Pokemon to catch up to date. This is last Pokemon, this Morbol, is just mean. So patch 6.3 introduced three new Pokemon. The Griffin, the Morbol, and the Tiger. Which the Tiger is obviously my favorite because it's freaking cool. The Griffin is available from 3 to 6 p.m. Eorzea time when the weather is clear skies around the coordinates of X of 15 and Y of 22.5. The tiger is available from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eorzea time and falls under fair skies at coordinates of X15, Y14. And now the big stinky, the big update that I am so excited that I literally just did like two minutes before I did this recording is available at 3 a.m. until 6 a.m. Eorzea time, specifically during the clouds weather at coordinates of X of 19 and Y of 19. I literally G post as soon as I could find this thing, hallelujah, I am honest to god just so happy, even though I failed to catch it, cause I spent like all yesterday searching, I am so happy to find this thing. And so now I'm gonna be doing something where I know people want a single complete video to go to, but all the information on my last video was accurate and I am frankly really really tired and I need to sleep because I was up until I could find this thing and like actually seal the deal. And so since I've done that, I'm just gonna be putting that last video here. So if you've already watched it, Feel free to skip, but I'm gonna do timestamps, all the information still accurate, and yeah, I hope that everyone's having an awesome patch 6.3. We're gonna be talking a lot about other content pretty soon. Island Sanctuary is sweet, and I hope you're enjoying it. Gotta catch them all Pokemon, Final Fantasy 14 edition. And so hey guys, it's time to talk about exactly how to get every single rare Pokemon in Island Sanctuary. And while my success at catching them is admittedly very low, I have at least attempted to catch all of them many many multiple times and i can show you at least where they are because there is a little bit of misinformation floating around like the paisa is pleasant on clear weather it's actually fair weather hello my fair weather friend but for the structure of this video i'm going to try and show the catching uh screen location is also going to be shown on the mini map that i've got in the screen and i'm just going to be going from the smalls to the mediums to the larges and then finally the one that requires flying at the very end so everyone can just follow along as they level up in their island sanctuary if you're looking for videos on like the guides of island sanctuary how to level up fast i got those on my channel too so check them out i think that they will actually help a lot first off is going to be the star marmot at coordinates of X 15.6 and Y of 19.2 and is available with any weather from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Second up is going to be the app Kalu of Paradise that has coordinates of X of 20, Y of 11 and is able to get caught from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. I was almost tempted to say 7-Eleven there just because Y is so close it's like okay. No, just me? Okay. Beachcomb is going to be the third up at coordinates of X of 18 and Y of 13 from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. Twinkle Fleece, which is one of the most sought after Pokemon of all of Island Sanctuary, is at coordinates of X of 22 and Y of 21 from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. But be cautious, this one actually requires weather and specifically to be fog or it's not going to appear. Since this is the first weather based one, let's discuss that a little bit because I have had a few questions on it. So the weather changes in the zone, I guess obvious to everyone, but that's going to determine if a Pokemon is able to be caught or not. If it's not the right weather, then it's not going to even be there. Um, there are going to be a bunch of methods online for tracking weather like Garland Tools that has been around for years and years and remains to the state of website that I fully support and have used used extensively through the years and um they've helped me craft gather for years and so that is my recommendation at least obviously not sponsored i have never even talked to the dev but major props that has been a reliable tool and i recommend it here now moving on to number five is going to be the ornery crackle at coordinates of x of 20 y of 22 and is available as long as the weather is fair at any time oh god a leaping lemur Lemur is going to be available from any weather from 6am until 9am at x coordinates of 20, 
y coordinate of 26. I once had a professor at one time many years ago who was obsessed with limers and I'm just like, oh no, oh the memories. And finally for the last of the small category we have the yellow coblin which is at location of x of 27 and y of 19.5 and there is at any time but it's going to need the fog weather. Now that the smalls are done, it is time for medium-sized Pokemon other than the specific special one that requires flying at rank 10 that I'm going to leave till the very end of the video since we're doing that order of how long you can unlock it. Or, I mean, <laughs> order of when you can unlock it. So the medium ones are obviously going to require the great balls. That's what he said. First up is going to be the Black Chocobo, which is available at any time in clear weather from X of 13. Y of 11 coordinates. The Dodo of Paradise is in any weather from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., able to be found at location of X of 16, Y of 12. The Island Stag is going to be another one that does not have a weather requirement and is available from 6 p.m. till 9 p.m. at X coordinates of 20, Y coordinate of 20. A year that I would just like to erase from my memory. I'm sure I'm not alone in that, though, to be quite honest. And then to wrap up this medium section, we are looking at the Glyptodon, which is available at X coordinates of 31 and Y coordinates of 11 from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. Oh geez, it's like me the past week. And just like the past few Pokemon, this Glyptodon is available at any time. Here is where I'd like to make the joke of another one, and another one, and another one, but do we really need another one of, well, those jokes? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> and now we're in the large category, which requires the final type of Pokeball to be crafted. And first up is going to be <laughs> the Grand Buffalo, which is found in the clouds, well, the weather of the clouds at least, from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., strolling around coordinates of X33, y of 16. Next up is going to be the alligator which is specifically in the showers weather type from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. found at x of 16 and y of 24. Now it's time for Yomama, I mean the Gabu, which is next up and found in the clouds. The weather of clouds at least from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m. strolling around coordinates of x of 33 and y of 16. And last on this list is going to be the island Billy who isn't picky about the weather and is available at x of 26 and y of 22 from 3 a.m. until 6 a.m. There's a joke in there. I wonder if anyone could guess. That's <laughs> so stupid. But the trick is I actually didn't think up a joke for that, and so I'm wondering what people will come up with in the comments. Now finally is the last legendary Pokemon to catch in this game, which is one that haunts my dreams because Paisa houses are absolutely cursed. I founded this channel on housing and my love of it, and all these years later, I still have a vendetta against Paisa houses. Thank god they aren't near my current ones. I'm gonna go into the Sea of Clouds and cast Dosis on a few Paisa. But Paisa houses are found specifically at the location of X of 24 and Y of 28 in the Island Sanctuary, which requires absolutely requires flying. I have never, like, don't try and get up there if you don't have it. There's no tricks, there's, you need flying. And then you just get up to this mountaintop and contrary to the rumor and speculation, is not there in clear weather. Paisa is only here in fair weather and so there you go. This is why I test things first because it, I don't want to speak on them because it sucks when people serve me wrong information. Anyhow, that is really it for this video. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon Final Fantasy XIV Edition. If this video helped you out, it would actually make me super happy if you tossed a few Pokeballs at that like button and cat tied that subscribe button. Take care, everyone, and happy Pokemon catching.